What's up everyone, this is Autogus Tech, and iOS 11.3 Beta 2 was released today, and I'm going to be explaining this awesome feature that Apple just came out with. Let's get started. So in this update, I'm going to be talking about performance and also battery. So there's a few really important things I want to talk about. So as far as performance goes, this is significantly better from the last version I had, which is iOS 11.3 beta 1. Beta 1 was absolute garbage on this device. Over time, it got worse. I don't know what the issue was and I couldn't even use it. But now I'm getting smooth frame rates when scrolling throughout the home screen, which was one of my main issues before. The phone wouldn't be able to scroll through the pages on the home screen without stuttering so that's been fixed and i'm very thankful for that now moving on to this awesome feature apple added so apple added a new low power mode feature for devices with batteries that the capacity is starting to degrade over time they added a new information panel in the battery section on your ios device so you can view whether or not it needs to be serviced and this could be found where the low power mode settings are and all you need to do is click on this and then you'll be brought to the screen so right here it says maximum capacity and on my phone it says 79 percent so that means my iphone can only hold 79 percent of the original capacity it used to hold since i purchased the phone i'm only able to charge my phone at almost 80 percent of the capacity it used to be able to hold so that might be why I'm experiencing worse battery life than usual. Now this phone is almost three years old, so this is expected, but Apple is recommending that I do get the battery replaced. And luckily Apple had changed the price. So the price to get your battery changed used to be $79, and they changed it down to a whopping $29. So that's a huge discount from Apple. They never usually do this type of stuff. So I highly recommend getting your battery changed for just pretty much 30 bucks. It's worth it, and it could be worth an extra 20%, almost a dollar per percent, depending on how old your device is. You can look at it like that. But the older your device is, the lower that percentage is going to be. So this makes me wonder. Let me know down below in the comments what that percentage is for you if you are on the beta or what device you have. I also want to mention that Apple is actually adding a feature in future updates where if your device does crash, because of a performance issue or the battery, what will happen is your phone will basically go into this low power mode that's separate from low power mode. It's like a different option that's within that service panel. And what will happen is your device speed will be slowed down and you will have the option to turn it off after your phone has restarted. So it'll automatically enable, but once you go into settings, you can choose to turn it off or on. And this is just basically to prevent crashes in the future if your device does crash. But I can't really demonstrate that right now because I need to somehow find a way to make my device crash. And that's a glitch and I don't know really how to do that yet. So that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, peace.